This Why Me video will encourage you to learn a new hobby, to reduce your stress, and who knows, can you turn your hobby into a business? But I was trying to think of what hobby to learn. Then I thought, this is interesting. The proverb, a stitch in time saves nine, had an internet search spike when the UK Prime Minister used the phrase to promote the lockdowns, saying, quote, we must take action now because a stitch in time saves nine, unquote. So I thought, great, let's learn how to knit. If he can relate that phrase to the pandemic, I can relate it to the law. So this proverb or phrase is perfect for a legal dispute. Some argue the phrase originates from the early 1700s. To make a stitch when you notice a rip before it gets larger. But why nine? So others argue when knitting, it takes nine stitches before you realize one stitch has been dropped, taking you nine times longer to fix. <laughs> Honestly, they're both good arguments, but let me tell you a secret. The court would go with the dictionary meaning, and according to the Oxford Dictionary, it means if you sort out a problem immediately, you may save a lot of extra work later. At Legal Minded Friends, we help you sort out your legal problems. I hear it all the time from clients. I wish I would have dealt with the problem sooner. Whether it be an employment issue or a child matter or even collecting a debt, the longer you leave it, the worse the problem gets. Okay, enough legal talk. The Why Me videos are designed to introduce you to something new that will help you to reduce your stress. Learning a new craft is rewarding. Designing takes concentration. And when you are creating, you are not worrying. If you don't know how to knit, not to worry. Let's listen to Ryan. I will play a short clip from his video, Knit Easy for Beginners. Hey guys, it's Ryan. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to knit. I'm going to go over all of the basics and keep it pretty simple because contrary to popular belief, knitting is actually pretty easy. It can seem intimidating at first, but we're going to keep it simple so you can hit the ground running. All you're going to need is yarn and two knitting needles and then you're ready to go. So get I had to stop the clip there because Ryan gets right into it. No messing about. And if I can learn how to knit, so can you. So see the links below to watch his video. By learning a new hobby, you will take yourself away from any legal worry you have. And who knows, your hobby could become a great idea for a business. Many people turn their hobbies into a business. Handmade designs have a valuable markup. I saw Christmas ornaments made from garden twine, selling in the shops for over five pounds each. So I decided to have a go at creating some of my own. And for less than 10 pounds, and two hours of my time. I designed quite a few Christmas ornaments. Imagine what you can create. Have a look at my creations. I made up my own designs <laughs> and it was easier than I thought. I really enjoyed it. It was rewarding. I will use them in place of bows when I wrap my presents for Christmas and they can be used as tree ornaments after. Double bonus. I hope you enjoyed today's video and it has inspired you to try something new and you make some of your own Christmas ornaments. Who knows, you might discover you have hidden talents for a business idea or you will just enjoy creating during a stressful time for your own pleasure. Check out our other videos under the playlist Why Me and contact us if you have a legal worry.